Why, hello there, I'm Maris, this is Gamer Quest, and this is Art of Rally. It's been a little while since we've played this, and the devs reached out to me because they had an Indonesia update. So we're going to take a look at all these brand new stages. I believe there is six new stages, so I'm excited. So we're going to start with Mount Kauai. Um, ooh, let's not do five. Let's do, we'll start with this morning, car class... Uh, five speed, the DOS, you know, this was really, really quite awful looking. All right, so I'm going to forewarn you, as I always say, I am a terrible driver. The controls on this game are great, so don't, don't think that my horrible driving should be any reflection on the controls in this game because they're good. And I am using a um, hardwired Xbox 360 controller. So. Alright. Love the low poly artwork in this too. They really did a beautiful job. If you go too far off the road, it actually, like, teleports you, so, you know, it's one of those things you want to, uh, you know, pay attention, control yourself. This isn't necessarily, like, a race per se. It is a race, but, like, you know, enjoy yourself. Don't go. Why did you, why, sir? Sand is a little tough to drive on. I will have to. I will have to say, like the mud is very slippy. The tracks in this are great. I find them to be a really nice size too, especially for like a rally game like this. Really simple controls when you're using the controller too and like I said like you can you definitely can like judge things like you can tap the brakes and it'll you know tap the brakes on the car very good controls the analog stick is very tight too which is really important in a game like this with all these tight curves as well Now, obviously, when you start getting really out of control, you know, sometimes it can get a little hard to get back in control, but for the most part, I always worry about hitting people. I don't think, I don't think I can kill people in this though. I think, I think I'm spared that. But I still worry about it. Again, if you go too far off the track, you will get, like, pause and put back on the track and restart it. So if you are going for, like, a best time, like, I'm, I'm right now playing to check out all these beautiful new boards. But when you're going to, like, top the charts and times and things like that, you know, it's important. 
it's important to know, you know, and figure out what you're doing in that respect. hairpin turn. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Okay. I feel I'm doing really good right now. I had a close call. Whoa. No, 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 no. Nope. See? I spoke entirely too soon, so there you go. I had a close call with that house before. I got a little too too close to being too far there. But you can see, obviously, that takes time away and everything, so. You wanna be as accurate and as in control as possible. Okay. Okay, so this is Samenka Bay. We'll do afternoon. And yeah, we'll give it we'll do that. Ooh, this looks lovely. I like how sleek their uh, menus are in this game. Just simple white and black text, nice and easy to read. Goes with the minimalist art, I'd say. Because it's definitely like a low-poly, minimalist style. A lot of good low-poly games coming out now. It's like people used to talk badly about be like, oh, it's low-poly. Mm. But like seriously, like some of these games are gorgeous. Man, this track is tough. And like these are, if I go off, I'm going off. Frightening track. Holy jeez. Okay, let's not. Okay, that. Man. Oops, sorry about your vegetable stand person. Oops, oh, sorry about those signs, too. I'm not. Not at all. Whoa. Okay, that's just thank you. Man, these roads are windy. But this is No. Man. That stinks. Look at that. Plus five seconds. Ouch. That was just luck right there, pure luck. And I am thankful for it. That would have been real messy. That again, close to getting uh, restarted. Sorry for hitting your structures. 
Not really again. You, uh, you put them there on a track that you knew I was going to be driving on. Which, right there, huge mistake. real rough. Alright, so Satanda Island, and we're gonna do Sunset. It's like a better... And I will do that. Okay. They have really good lighting in here. Like, look at how good this lighting looks. You saw it highlighted well with that afternoon where, like, uh, when we were coming up over the hill, it kind of highlighted the road and gave it that glossy look. standing near any curves for like a rally race any car race just the curves are not where to be They definitely did a beautiful job on designing these islands, too. Like, they are very rocky, mountainous islands, and these definitely, I think, are a good representation. We're, we're up and down a lot. Very nicely done. So, Orang Valley, we're going to do rain. Ooh. Let's do... Let's do that. Okay. Here we go. I don't have a good feeling about this one. Now, again, this, this track is going to be quite a problem. We just need to take our time at this. Yeah. Oh, I tried. It's gonna be real easy to slip far. This is frightening. My God. Shoot. Like I said, this is this is gonna be really treacherous. And you do take a little speed hit from the puddles, so you can uh You can definitely get thrown off course. Wasn't 
good. Okay, we got this, we got this, we can gain, we got it. And again, these, these are very unforgiving with these steep sides on them. I think so far this has been, these tracks have been quite a good addition. I'm gonna have to do the uh, free driving on this one day and uh, check out the unlocks and everything like that, see what I can get, because they have some really cool modes in this game too. You don't have to race other people. You can do a career mode. You can do free driving like I'm doing now. There's like a free roam mode. Like there's a lot of cool stuff that they've done with this. So, San Giang Island. So we're gonna do night. Okay, I'm gonna stick with, with that. Okay, I'm just skipping some, it, you know, it shows you some things. I'm uh, getting right into it. This is gonna be frightening. Again though, look at the lighting effects on this. The shadows of the trees passing by, really good. I'll tell you what, nothing is more harrowing than Night Driver on the Atari, though, when it comes to driving at night. That game. <laughs> That's a game that will make you hate racing games. Or could potentially. Ooh, bad. All right, we got this. Yikes. Okay. I just gotta try to not hit the people. I need to be in better control. fires by the uh, houses and stuff. If you like driving games and you haven't gotten this already, especially with all the updates that have come out since the last time I've looked at it and stuff like that, like, I can almost guarantee you're going to enjoy this game. Ooh, that's... You don't, we don't want to go off that. Oh, another one? Oh, boy. Ooh. Ha <laughs> ha! Out of the way, people. You like the hashtag underneath there? Not going that way. Ooh, okay. I need to maybe look at where they want me to go before I think I'm gonna go that way. 
I figured I was just going to follow the road and hang a right and not be made to take a left, so... That was sloppy. That's alright, though. No pixel people got hurt. Car's getting banged up, though, that's for sure. Alright, so here's the last map, Calabacan uh, Valley, Fog, oh boy, we're doing it, another dirt road, okay, I'm scared. This fog isn't too bad, I was, I was expecting, oh, I spoke too soon. It is a little uh, tough to see up, up a little bit further. We got this. We can we can truck on through. Well, drive on through. I'm not driving a truck right now. Like, I'm glad the people are out to see me, but, like, don't stand on the sides of cliffs. Especially not when I'm coming around those corners on said high cliffs. That's, like, really bad. we have some nice longer longer drives but I have a feeling I have a gut feeling we're going to be coming up on a lot of curves because it seems we have like a lot of straightaways easy driving I feel I feel the craziness in my bones bubble it up these curves were coming. I like these. These are beautiful tracks. Really nice to see more on here. And just, uh, we'll go over it again. So you start in Finland. And then as you go through there, Sardinia, Japan, Norway, Germany, Kenya, Indonesia. We've done what? I have Finland. I have a couple of them. Um, but really, really cool. They did a great job on this update. So I'm happy to see again more work on it. I can't wait to see what they come up with next for it. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching the video. 
If you liked it, subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to donate, go to GamerQuest.tv slash donate, and I will see you on the next video.